Hello! Today we're going to be talking about a package in PFSense called Snort. It's, it's extremely popular. Uh, it's very useful. The community, there's a, a massive community behind this thing supporting it and updating the rules all the time. Uh, but specifically, I'd like to talk about a intrusion detection. You know, these things that happen on our networks that system administrators should be aware of. Uh, knowing where things are coming from, where they're going, uh, the kind of activity that you should be watching. And so I prepared a, a really simple uh, demonstration uh, for us today just to, just to see it in action. Now, before we go too much further, I want to show you that the firewall rules that we've got already in place on this PFSense machine. Specifically, I'm going to be doing some activity on the opt one network and so right now the users are only allowed to get out to the internet through with a tcp udp traffic and so if i were to send a ping from this network uh, sending an icmp packet out of this network it wouldn't work okay so uh, the only thing these users are allowed to do is access the internet let's go and take a look at snort and look at some of the ways that it's been configured So one of the things, I'm making an assumption here that you've got Snort installed. Uh, there will be another video coming up that shows how to get Snort installed. So I've gone on and I've added an interface, which is great. Uh, let's go into our, our rule here and see what we got working there. So... Very simply, we're all we want to do is alert when when we see a specific kind of traffic that we don't want happening on our network. And what I'm going to do in this video is that I'm not going to I'm not going to go into detail about every single setting that we have, but what I will do is talk about the the specific things that we need to to do in order to trigger or to watch for a specific type of traffic. So, first off, you do need to enable the interface uh, you do need to choose the interface that you want. So on my scenario, I've got a WAN, a LAN, and an OPT1. So for me, I want to look at the OPT1. That's where my regular users are are working. And I scroll down. We're not blocking anybody right now. All we're doing is alerting for traffic. Uh, I'll keep. I'll take a look at this. So. It is important that we we look at what what kind of variables are inside of our snort. How does how does snort know what my home net is? I mean, we've got our interface up here selected. Yeah, that's great, but we do need to have some a little bit more specific. So I leave it as default, and you'll see why. Because when we get get here, we can see that the network that I'm working on is actually the 50 network, which is perfect. So snort, when I installed it, did all the work of grabbing the the network for me. So just leave it like that. When we're talking about an external network, it's also quite simple. It's basically just saying, with an exclamation mark saying, if it's not the 50 network, then it's external. If it's not any of these, it's external. Give it a save. And then let's go up here and let's let's write a rule and see how it see how a, a snort rule works. So right now this is a very this is a very plain vanilla uh, interface. Nothing really special is going on other than a custom rule that we're going to make. And this is our rule. So let's take a look here. Uh, break it down a little bit here. So when a particular type of traffic is happening, right now I want to look for pings, which is an ICMP packet. Um, we're going to alert for ICMPs. If it's coming from my home net, and we already know that a home net would be on our 50 network or on our 10 network, uh, but specifically this is going to be the we're going to be catching the 50 network. Anything that would be considered under that variable, uh, any port as a sender, we don't care any port, and the destination. Uh, and for here, I put any any destination and any port. I don't care where this is going. I would like to know if ICMP packets are coming out of this network. 
And it's it's a good idea to put a message, you know, make something that's logical. Right now, I've put it as simply a ping has been detected. You should give your rules uh, an ID, and I always I always aim for right near the top because if you're going to be using community rules, they're typically near the bottom of the the numbers like one, one, two, three, one hundred and five. So I always aim for my custom rules to be really, really high. That's just part of the way I do it. So go ahead and save it and go back to your Snort interface. Now that we've done some saving, we do need to actually update it. You'll see it in here. You'll actually see that it's not even turned on. So what you should do is push play. It looks like a little play button. Turn it on and then uh, you'll have to wait a couple minutes and then we'll we'll be good. Your rule is ready. So now let's go and trigger that rule. Okay, here we are over at a Windows 10 machine. Right now this machine uh, resides on the Opt1 network. It's on the, the 50 network. And what I want to do is I want to generate some traffic. So remember our rule is looking for ICMP uh, traffic specifically. So let's let's generate some ICMP traffic. And specifically, I'm going to be actually pinging the gateway of this network. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, and request timed out. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to have happen. Because remember, the the firewall rule says that the people that are on this network are only able to get out to the internet. They are not allowed to do anything else. And so that, that also includes they shouldn't be allowed to ping anywhere. So let's go back to our, our PFSense machine. And so we've got our interface here. And remember the rule said alert, which is like, hey, something's happening. Let's go take a look at our alerts. And there you go. Our only interface that we've got is set here. And we've got two packets that were sent. And if you look back over here, one, two. And we've got those two two packets. There's my SID. The source IP was the 5010, and the destination was the gateway. And here's my custom message. All right. There you go. That's a very simple example of a snort rule catching some traffic. Thanks. Bye.